Alright guys, so today, I'll be reviewing my very first Masterpiece review on the channel. And I'm doing this guy because his transformation is simple, also he's probably one of my most played with <laughs> Masterpieces. I've had this guy for a long, long time. Uh, I've had this guy for a long time. This is my Masterpiece Grimlock. He is the American version, so yeah. Now, this guy's been around for a while. You've probably seen him in a couple of videos in the background. I guess, uh, well, first thing first, let's get, uh, on to, first we can do articulation first, and then we'll get to transformation. So he's pretty basic because he's an older MP. So let's get up here. So these, uh, these back panels are on a, a nice soft ratchet. Let's move this back now. So basically, this is on a ball joint, so this will go all the way around, come up, it can come up this far, go down this far, yeah, alright, so the elbow is technically a double elbow, technically, hold up, let me, oops, hold on, let me just uh, focus on that real quick, there we go, alright, still getting used to this, this is technically a double elbow, but that's more for transformation purposes only. That uh, extra little light, yeah. He could bend up to this far, but with a double, a little farther. A lot of his, uh, but it's really blocked by these uh, dino claws. Uh, this hand has only some articulation. It can move all the way. And, uh, this hand has some more articulation because that hand has a gimmick. I'll show you in a couple seconds. But this hand can open and uh, fully open like that. Ta-da. And I know there's a better MP Grimlock out there. There's the, there the the Giga Power guys, but uh, this guy's been with me for a long time. I'm fine with him. Uh, I'll show you that gimmick real quick. If it still works. So if I take, uh, I guess, oh the button. I'll show you the gimmick at last. So in terms of the leg articulation, well actually he, he has a somewhat of a waist level, not very much because it's blocked by. Uh, it's actually. It's actually limited by the his back his backpack. So he's limited by that. So if you hear all that creaking and stuff, that's that's from him. That's him doing that noise. Mine's old, so yeah. So in terms of leg articulation, you can kick out this far, and his leg can move back. Not there. Actually, if you move it out a little bit, you can get fully full. His legs can come out this far, and uh, so the knee, also he has his knee bend is to this nice ratchet joint. Three clicks. Not about four clicks actually. But, uh, he has somewhat of an ankle pivot. A little bit of an ankle pivot. It's somewhat helpful. Let's get down to accessories if I can get this guy to stand real quick. Hold up. All right, there we go. Accessory time. So in terms of accessories, uh, he came with this crown from the comics. So that's uh, I actually like this accessory. Since he's not, I didn't get the uh, the Japanese release, so he doesn't have the bib and stuff. So yeah, or the tray. But he, I got the crown for him. Also, wait, there's one more thing I forgot to show. There's the little uh, switch on the back of his head, basically. This little red thing. And basically, if I move that... Oh, well, I gotta take the crown off for it. So if I move that... So if I move it, if I move it down... So if I move it down, hold up. If I move it... Wait, no, yeah. If I move it up, his eyes flicker, his eyes turn red, and if I move it down... Yeah, symbol. I, I always have his eyes on blue. Personal. Personally. Uh, yeah. So, his other weapons are, here's his blaster. Now, I do like this blaster. It's one of my favorites. Oops, I dropped it. So, let's put it in his hand with the, with the gimmick. So, well, I gotta check if the gimmick still works. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, wait, never mind. Just had to give it a second. Sorry. Let's turn off the lights real quick and see if it works. Oh, wait, it kind of works. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a big 
cool. That's pretty cool. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go. So this is the sword. Now, uh, I've, been, <laughs> I've been considering giving this to Studio Series of Grimlock for reasons, because I actually like him better. But uh, let's check it out in his hand. Yeah, I mean, he looks pretty cool. Now let's check out that let's see if it's a gimmick. Let's check out the gimmick. Hey, look at that. It actually works relatively better with the sword. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This review's been going pretty well so far. Hope it actually... Uh, hope you guys actually get this review open. Because, uh... Let's just pop off one second. But I beheaded him. Oh, no. Hold up. All right, guys, we're back. Now, uh, I was talking about uh, a review. So, I was supposed to post a Megatron review yesterday, but it never happened. Let's get down to transformation now. I'll talk about that later. So, basically, this panel will flip out. Like that. Uh, make sure the hands are oriented like this with the sum. With the, so, what the sum? Like this. Then you can flip this in. Bam. Yeah, I'll flip them like that. Uh, adjust the toes. We'll get more into that later. The more of the articulation for Dino Mode later. Uh, oh, also, yeah, there's a swivel here, by the way. It's a little loose on mine. Same thing on this side. And make it adjust his arms like this because you want to get him out of the way for now. And next, what we're going to do is that, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to take him and we're going to pull him like that. That's basically going to loose up everything. And you want to swing this part. So you want to, when it's like this, swing this part. Keep this part down like this. We're going to deal with this later. So right now we're going to deal with the upper half. So right now what we're going to do, we're going to take these parts. And we're going to get them around. And clamp them together. Well, hold up. Let me just. But make sure, uh, we'll make sure this. Hold up. Oops. Make sure this gold, the gold part is actually at a certain angle right there. You want it to be like that. And basically... So that, so see, look, this gold, okay, so that, that, okay, see, see, oh, so, oh, I'll show you on this side. So this gold piece, it's going to tab into here, like, like that. And before you, okay, before you tab this all together, make sure to bring down the dinosaur head, because that's going to fill in that gap right there. Not that gap, it's going to basically bring it together. Basically squeeze everything together real quick. If you got to adjust stuff, adjust stuff to your liking. There we go, okay. I'm just gonna adjust some things real quick. So, also, if you want to bring the. Alright, bring the dinosaur head down. Like, down a couple clicks. Alright, time to deal with the part I hate very much. Time to deal with the tail. Alright, so here's the tail. I don't like this part. I really don't. Because uh, I get mixed up all the time when I'm doing it. And I just don't. So, what we want to do is we're gonna make the legs. So we're gonna spread the legs and we're gonna. Move the joint, move them like this. Oh, whoops, it's on camera then. So this is on a, so this is on basically, uh, like a, on a, oh, wait. Okay, so bring it together. Yeah, as close as possible. There we go. So take these, so take these panels and bring up these little pieces. Bring these up, these little, uh, these, hold on, let me just. Hope you guys get this reveal. That'll be really nice to give you guys a review finally. Alright, there. And there. Hold on. Okay, also make sure to make sure to flip this down while you're at it. Because mine's old and loose, it's already gonna flip down for me on one side. And I gotta fight with it again. There we go. Hold on. There we go, okay. So what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take these legs. And basically. Yeah, it's gonna all, so you wanna take these legs and kinda loosen them, get them out of there, and it's gonna all fold out like this. So now we're like this right now. Let me just adjust the camera to see this a little more. I know it looks like a mess on the camera, but this is old masterpiece engineering right here. And what we're gonna do, it's gonna all, so this, this, this is gonna all, so this is gonna all come into there. Just, there we go. Just make sure to keep everything lined up up here on the upper half. Oh no, my camera. Okay, sorry. Okay. Alright. Wait, 
Did I do that? Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. Just align everything up up here, and then we're good for that side. We're good. See? Just line everything up, and then we'll talk about some more stuff after. So then we're going to do the same thing over here. Perfect. Also, make sure to push these feet panels up. Forgot to tell you. Push push these up. They're on, they're on a slider. Kind of like... Nah, wait. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, do that. So, uh, basically, we'll do, we're doing the same thing as we did on the other side. And we can... There we go. And then, uh, so basically, everything's going to... Everything's going to tab together now. So, let's do that real quick. So, the feet... So, look. So... These tabs will plug into these uh, these slots. No, wait. yeah, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, you know. What I mean. And up here, they'll go. They'll tab it up here as well. Once you hear all the clicking and the clacking, you mean that means you got it. Mine's old, so yeah. And uh, so let me just dump everything here. All right, here we are. We're in dino mode. Look at that. You don't need to see comparison, size comparisons. You probably you've probably seen this guy next to other stuff. I gotta move back because he's a bit of a tall, tall trainer. He's a bit of a tall, tall guy. All right. Let me go in here. He uh, he honestly looks a little a little worse for wear in my uh, uh, in real life. All right, here he is. So uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Now uh, in terms of gimmicks, well, uh, here is one gimmick. Flip up this panel, take, pull it out. It's gonna be a spring mechanism. Move it, move it, uh, move it, and there we go. There you go, you got the red eyes. I usually have the dino move with the blue eyes, just because I like it. Ta-da! All right, so in terms of articulation, uh, his mouth can open up this wide. And there's a little uh, flame piece, and a little uh, gun in there. Got a nice little ratchet, which is nice. Uh, this arm, his arms are ball jointed, so same thing as in robot mode. His arms are ball jointed. I'm not gonna do leg articulation because it's basically the exact same as his arms because they are his arms. Uh, but there's some new stuff on it. Like, what was thing? All right, time to show you his arms. So the arms. And this must uh, movement. Sorry if that bothers anybody. Mm, mine is old. The hands can twist. Wait. Okay. Yeah, they could twist. Yeah, they could twist. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I thought they could twist. I guess I was wrong. Never mind. The elbow can go out to this much. And backwards. And forwards. His uh, his claws are articulated separately, so let's show that off real quick. So yeah, it closes that far. You can open this much. Yes. Oh, yeah, his his head has uh, I forgot to do head articulation. Hold on. So his head can look all the way around. Complex. He can look up this far, and he can't look down at all. Hold on, sorry. That's how far he can look down. Tail articulation-wise, uh, not much. Not not much at all, actually. You kind of kind of can wag. That's that's really it. That's all you're that's all you're getting out of this guy. Yep. That's all you're getting out of that good old MP Grimlock. And uh, well, tail articulation. Now for tail articulation. Uh, this can move up about that far, move down about that far. Same goes for the back. And that's that's really that's really it for uh, articulation in terms of his dino mode. All right, I'm gonna so I'm gonna cut here for now, and I'm gonna transform into robot mode real quick, and then we can finish the reveal.